are unable to uh, to come to uh, to residential type schoolings, and uh, it's expensive, and so uh, we have uh, found that that this has been quite acceptable. Um, so much so that uh, we now actually have uh, this is considered it meets the minimum educational standards for the Pentecostal Assemblies of Canada for for licensed ministers uh, for credentialing purposes for full-time ministry credentials with the Pentecostal Assemblies of Canada and so that has been um, that has been a significant uh, plus for us because for years we've been trying to find things and then people say, well, I put this much effort and energy into this, what do I get at it, you know, out of it at the end? And we say, well, we get, you get this nice piece of paper, but that's it, but not anymore. You know, so we're, we're, we're really quite uh, happy with that. Um, did I answer your question? Is yes, you did, and I just have one more question. Sure. So about assignments, um, do we have to hand in um, assignments every week? No. Uh, in that, um, now this, this is, uh, again, it's, it's customizable with the, um, uh, with the curriculum and depending on the, uh, the training center. Um, <clears throat> but as far as global university, uh, is concerned the only requirements the only requirements that they need to receive um, is the final exam and this serve and this uh, learning service or service learning requirement um, that is the only uh, assignments um, that they require um, now depending on the training center um, I know of facilitators who, um, in, in order to help kind of the, the learning process and absorbing the information, uh, has um, developed um, homework assignments. Um, case in point for Synoptic Gospels, again, um, and really it, it's connected really to the, uh, the, learning, the service learning requirement, which is one of them was about... Um, witnessing and and basically documenting and writing down your your account of your witness effort um, that was a simple uh, homework assignment tell somebody about Jesus um, but again they're 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 not part of the the grading process uh, any homework that might happen is simply as a just a, a mechanism and a way to help improve the learning and, and absorption of of the material Yes. Uh, my question is about uh, some students who may, uh, who may need to take this course online. Uh, can they be provided with the, document, the documentation that you have there? Yes. Um, every one of the courses that is listed there for the Ministerial Studies Diploma, um, that sheet of paper that I, that I gave you, and it gives level one, level two, and advanced level, Yes, every one of those courses that are listed there are available online. And so, uh, literally, this booklet is on the internet. Oh, yeah. And they can walk, walk, walk through it um, just as though they have the, the printed copy before them. Uh, the, the learning service, uh, the service learning requirement is also uh, online. They can fill out that form and it gets submitted. You can even take your exams online mm -hmm. and uh, the, the benefit there is you get immediate feedback as to um, how you did and what perhaps um, sections you may have have missed yes. um, and so that's one of the advantages of, uh, of online not only that but it's also um, cheaper uh, because you don't have to deal with the, the shipping and the receiving of, or we don't have to deal with the shipping and receiving of the um, uh, of the printed material. So, taking a course online is uh, is cheaper than the printed course. Now, if somebody does the printed course, the online version is available to you as well. It's it's included in the cost, and so you can have the printed copy as well as access to to the the internet course.
Any others? Questions? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, my question is just concerning about the fees. But I don't know if this is the, the right time to ask about it. About what? The fees. Fees? Yes. Yeah, I think we can move on. Depends on what, what your question is. Uh, I, I want to know just if it, you give some credit to those who maybe did some some courses before. Before, yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. There is um, there is that option um, that that again that's not left up to to uh, to myself as in Aboriginal Bible Academy um, because what's happening is you're basically enrolling in global university under the umbrella of global university this curriculum that we are offering is uh, what they call as part of the they okay they have four schools under global university, what they call schools. Mm -hmm. One is a graduate uh, program, one is an undergraduate, one is what they call Berean School of the Bible, which is this curriculum, um, and then they have a Center for Evangelism and Discipleship. Um, if you're going to rank them scholastically, probably you'd rank them the way I just described them in that order. Um, but again, as I made mention about this meeting, the minimum educational standards for credentialing. Um, but with um, I've gotten on to, to that question. Your question again was, what was yeah, I about answering? About the credits. About the credits. Oh yes, the, the credits. Um, what we do for those that, that feel that they have taken other courses, um, we need transcripts. Uh, of, of those courses, they are then submitted to Global University mm -hmm. and um, they have a, an academic department there that goes through that and they let us know if that's recognized or not. Mm -hmm. um, and so they, they regularly have, have that process happen all the time. So yes, if you feel that, that you, you've taken some other things, whether it's been at university level or, or what have you, um, you can let us know. We can make those submissions if you've got the right documentation, um, you know, such as you know transcripts, as I said. Um, then they can make the the assessment uh, what they will recognize, and and then we can go from there. Mm -hmm. Maybe before going to the question for the fees, sure. I'd like to know if how do you think if this course for the first level. Can take uh, if you if you pretend that if we pretend that the, the the first the first level may go to three months, do you think that per day how many courses do we have to take? For example, if I see here we have like uh, we have like uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine. Mm -hmm. So do do you think that we can cut we can cover a day like in one day we can do two courses or one courses just one courses? I, I would suggest uh, your best course of action um, is to take one course at a time mm -hmm. um, and to me, now, like I said, it, it, it's really dependent mm -hmm. upon the, the, the group, the mm -hmm. course, particularly here since we're having, there's certainly going to be more than one person taking this. Mm -hmm. um, you want to keep in mind, you, you don't want someone feeling like they're getting kind of a little stretched, you know, because so-and-so or two or three people can, can feel like, hey, I want to do two or three courses here and, and get moving, uh, whereas someone else may feel, you know what, I, um, I, I just, I, I don't have enough time to do any more than just the, just the one course. Um, so that may be something that needs to be uh, considered and worked out. It, it's not impossible. Um, to do more than uh, to, to have one group and have some do you know perhaps more than one simplicity it makes it easier if everybody just does say this the same amount of courses mm -hmm. and obviously one course is easier than doing two um, or or more um, but this may be something that um, you may find as you start out in the journey that hey um, how's everybody doing? Um, what I would suggest for the very first time out of the out of the gate is to go with this one course, see how see how it goes, see how the the pace of it feels, um, 
if um, finding out how many times you can meet and get together. Um, the way the course is developed, I mean, you can do as much time as you want to put into this. You don't have to wait until you're going to get together with everybody, um, you know, to, to go through your, your work. Um, the majority uh, of, of the benefit of coming together has to do with um, certainly if, if anybody's struggling or got some questions and, and just enriching the whole learning experience. I mean, our heart here is not just simply to sign up a whole bunch of students and say, hey, hey, we've got, we got these people studying here and there. It, it, it's about actually coming out with something. Uh, to you know, to to have it not just not just in here, but mm -hmm. but to have it in your heart and in your life, where you're living out this information, mm -hmm. the the word of God. And so, um, what I would suggest is, uh, particularly uh, with the, this first kind of stab at it, um, to start with one course, see how often um, you can meet, how how long whether it's one or two times in the week, or three times, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, how long you can meet mm -hmm. each time, mm -hmm. and to see how that um, it, um, is helping or hindering the, the learning process. Mm -hmm. uh, and, then, and then from there, you can modify. See, the great thing about this is that we're not stuck to, to semesters or, or, or anything like that. Um, you can change it if it's, if it's not it's not working. Mm -hmm. um, you can shorten or lengthen. You mm -hmm. can add days or take away days. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's completely up to, you know, the facilitator and the group. So in that case, do you think that it's a good idea for for us to do it now, or people can can have another consultation where they can decide how 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 many days they can be taking the course in a in a week, or a, yeah. or we can do it now? I don't know what you yeah. think about oh. it. I. I would certainly, um, I mean, because I'm only, the, inter the internet is just a few clicks away. I mean, we can tie in the phone. I mean, yeah. there, there's no problem. I'm only two hours away. Yeah. Um, you know, so it, it's not, we don't need to, you don't feel like, okay, i got to sign up today. Mm -hmm. you, you don't need to, to feel that way at all. Um, I mean, this, this, this meeting was, was for the purpose of, of bringing some orientation, bring some enlightenment and some understanding as to, as to what we offer here. Um, as I'm, uh, I'm kind of looking down here, I thought that I made a bunch of, of copies. No, I didn't. Somebody asked about the, the academic fees, and I realized I've only got one copy here. I was going to hand out a whole bunch, or at least that was my... That was my plan, um, but if you if you've got a if you've got a pen, uh, paper you can. Uh, I think I think I did some copies of oh, the ones that you gave me, and I think they have it. They need just oh, some okay. information. Oh, All right. Um, yes, because I yeah I, I did give uh, Pastor uh, a, a number of um, information packets. So uh, concerning the academic fees. There is a uh, there is a one time student uh, new student application fee of thirty dollars. What that does is get you into basically Global University's computer system. Your name's in there, then that's done. You don't have to. Uh, that's an administration fee that they uh, that they charge for getting the person that student into the system. Once that's done, that's one time. Don't have to pay it again. Now, um, course enrollment, that's what everybody's wondering about. Course enrollment, each course for credit. If you want to take for credit, you want to be able to get a, a certificate, a diploma at the end. Um, each course is $150. For the 26 courses? Uh, no, each. $150 oh. each course. Each one of them. Yes, e each course. Every course that, that, we, um, that we offer, every course in the Ministry of Studies Diploma Program, every course in the Bible and Doctrine Diploma, Specialized Ministry, this course is $150. With that is the printed copy, 
it shipped to you. Um, you have the the exam is uh, is shipped uh, and available. It's to your door at one hundred and fifty dollars. That will um, when you've completed the exam and you've done the the service learning requirement that that qualifies you for credit for that course. Uh, same for, for any of the other courses, $150. And uh, that includes the tuition. Yeah, that includes the tuition, the course material, and shipping. Uh, online, online is $100. Now with that $150 for this course, that uh, includes the online. If you're just taking the online, it's only $100, but you don't get the printed book. All right? The online course is $100. It includes the tuition and the access to the online account. Um, the audit fee is $70. That looks after the printed copy, but there is no tuition fee. Um, and obviously, you're then not, you're not required to... Uh, 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 you're not required to, to write the final exam. You don't receive a final grade, obviously, because the only thing they grade is the final exam. Um, and you don't have to do the, or submit any of the compulsory uh, assignments. Uh, but that, in a nutshell, that, that's the fee structure for a course, $150. Um, there are what they call recommended reading textbooks. Um, that are optional um, in in our course descriptions. I know um, I believe your pastor has has um, in the information packet that that I gave him. There is a fairly uh, lengthy and detailed um, document on course descriptions. This is literally every course that we offer, and it gives. Uh, a description of what that course is, kind of what it's what it's highlighting and teaching, and then um, it recommends uh, materials or it recommends a textbook that coincides with uh, that course. Um, but that textbook is optional. All right, um, and so that would be, and depending on the course, books can range from I don't know, about twenty dollars. $15 to $50. I mean, there's one pastoral theology book. It's this thick and hard cover, and you know, it's about that big, and it's, it's pushing $50. Um, but those books are optional. But the course itself, um, and that's all that's required. Global University doesn't require you to, to buy the textbooks. But if you so choose, um, they're available uh, for you. Um, in enrolling in a course, you get an exam. If you fail that exam, you're allowed to write one retake at a cost of $25. We're just passing this cost on. This is, this, this is um, Global University's requirements. You're allowed one retake at a cost of $25 for that retake exam. If you happen to fail that retake, <laughs> the Lord help you. No. <laughs> uh, we've had we've 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 had this we've had this happen. Um, uh, you're only allowed that 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 you can only retake the exam once. once. After that, you have to re-enroll, and so basically start the the process over again. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which means, yeah, another. Um, however, um, because, because actually, yeah, it would only be a hundred dollars because you already have the, the. Well, hopefully, you still have the, the original yeah. copy. Yes. Um, how come if the study guild package for the fifteen dollars can be included with the one hundred and fifty per course? Oh, yeah, that that study guy. Um, because uh, I think that the course can't go without any study duty. Yes. Um, actually, this um, this doesn't perhaps accurately reflect what's what's happened now. Um, this is a newer version 
all the all the courses are going to this version where there isn't that white you know that white booklet you see in in some of the in the older versions there used to be that white booklet called a student packet which is this fifteen dollars student packet they are now combining that white booklet into this book itself this one actually contains it um, and as you can see they've got this big red stop oh, sign that what? says all in one student packet content now included in this book so it's a new process a new edition that they're working through that eventually will go through all of those courses um, I just happen to have just the older versions with me that have the the white booklet but they are now all coming to this so there's no longer that issue of a separate study guide because it's now in here it is contained in here so you don't you see so you actually you don't have to worry about that that white booklet because the course that you'll get is in, there. Is in here that student packets already in here so if you have this you've got the study packet so you're you're good so you don't have to worry about that one that but I'm glad you brought that to my attention because I'll uh, I'll fix that. Of course, we still have some older curriculum that um, that do have the separate books, and they're they're still viable. They're still good. They're not out of date, um, and we have some. We've got them in our inventory, and so we we can use them up. And so, uh, but any any courses that you would be starting with, um, this is typically the first one that we suggest to to start with: Synoptic Gospels, the Life and Teaching of Christ. It of course is all in the new, the new all-in-one. So that study packet is in here. Uh, there is a mention here of a, a student transfer fee um, of fifteen dollars. That's only in that's only in the case of perhaps a student starts. They're enrolled, and they they get their their curriculum, um, but you want to transfer their enrollment to somebody else because perhaps the student A doesn't want to do it anymore but student B now does we've already got the curriculum we can do a, a, a fifteen dollar <coughs> administration fee to change their information and their curriculum and their enrollment over to somebody else that's what that's about um, yeah again and then um, the facilitator we, we can have um, such as, um, you know, if, if pastor, say, he was the uh, facilitator, uh, not necessarily taking it for credit, he's helping to walk through uh, the students, um, that uh, this IST can have for just $45. Yes? Um, my question is about the deduction. Is there any deduction of the members of the church, like uh, for this school fees, like I'm the member of the church or others, and there are others who are coming from out of the church? Mm -hmm. Is there any benefit we get from you because you are members of the church? Oh, um, not at this, not at this juncture. We um, we're looking at. Um, Actually, one of the processes that we're working through is a scholarship fund. Um, uh, but at this moment, it's not, uh, it's not operational um, to the point where it's, it's, it's functioning um, to be a benefit yet. <laughs> um, and so the, the fee for the course enrollment is... Uh, is pretty flat rate at this point of uh, anybody anybody Joe Blow wants to take this course it's $150 um, I mean there there are some hard costs um, associated with I mean with with printing it with getting it shipped and shipping it out that are just realities um, but we are we are looking into areas such as what you made mention of um, as we uh, kind of get uh, a student population that is that can sustain that type of fee structure where we can have uh, perhaps church uh, uh,
church members or a church congregation that's hosting uh, a training center that there would be, um, you know, perhaps like a, a financial break or financial uh, refund or, or a rebate of some kind. Uh, but at this point, we don't have anything that's concrete on that. And how many times or how many hours does each course get? Um, it's not, um, are, you, are you referring to how, how long it takes yes, or? the hours, the hours mm -hmm. of each course. Well, that is, it's completely up to, to the individual. Um, you can go through this course as quickly or as slowly as you like. The only stipulation is you've got, you have, the most, you have six months to finish this course. After six months, if you're not done, um, you can apply for an extension fee of $25, and that'll add another six months. So at most, um, you've got a, a year to do a course. Now, it shouldn't take you a year. Um, it should easily take inside of six months. Um, like I said, we, we have... Um, we have 